Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 63 plate Land Rover Defender 110 2.2 TDCI County Utility that you can see uh, lurking behind me there. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine uh, starting and running action at the end um, of both videos. Hope you like them. Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 63 plate Land Rover Defender 110 2.2 TDCI County Utility in silver. Now, we sold this this time last year uh, to a chap down in, um, in the West Country uh, who's done 4,000 miles in it, um, reports it hasn't missed a beat whatsoever. Um, we've just agreed to buy it back because he needs the, um, the money for a deposit for a house. He was intended on keeping it forever, but uh, got to buy a house, which uh, we all have to do. So we've agreed to buy it back. But as he said, he's done 4,000 miles in it over the past 12 months. No issues whatsoever, and it hasn't changed from the last time we sold it, apart from now it's got um, an Exmoor trim cubby box in it rather than the uh, centre Obman's tray. But um, yeah, here she is. It's also just done 170 miles up to us, um, and I decided this is the basic the condition it arrived in, so it shows you how well he's kept it. We didn't think we needed to uh, give it a good clean and what have you um, before uh, before we videoed it. So basically just as it's just as it's arrived so you can see he's uh, kept it in good shape anyway fitted with uh, boost alloys with uh, continental cross contact tires on basically stand, standard county spec apart from snorkel on there uh, mantec snorkel it's got the um, land rover side steps on it it's got a beacon on the back which uh, did used to work presumably it does still work um tow pack Oh, the other, he's had it wax oiled as well, apparently. Whilst he's had it. Uh, so externally, standard apart from the snorkel. Inside, standard county spec. So cloth seats, um, Alpine stereo. I think it's Alpine anyway. Yeah, it is the Alpine stereo. Um, all matted throughout, say, so new cubby box in there. Um, the only other difference in the back, and it was always like this, because uh, it before we had it, it was owned by a, a company. Uh, it's all been boarded out in the back, both for a bit of security and um, able to store things. So it's been boarded out in the back there. Uh, previous owner fitted those nets, which he's <laughs> graciously said we can keep. <coughs> um, but yeah, there it is. Right, let's walk around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very little in the way of bad bits, in fairness. It's nice to see it not covered in checker plate either. It's um, it's a very checker plate free one, this one. Um, now, front bumper is getting a little bit pitted, as you can see. Uh, we haven't coated it in any black stuff or anything. I'd rather just sort of you see it as it is. Um, light surrounds are getting slightly discoloured now. But again, easily uh, easily rectified that. A um, few scratches here and there. I say it is with the best wheel in the world. It is what eight, nine years old now. A few minor scratches just here on the top of the offside front wing, um, and a couple in the paintwork just here on the bonnet. Another one there, and another one there, and I'd say some more scratches on the near side front wing, as you can see. But uh, because it's silver, it um, doesn't really detract too much. Uh, we have got a very, very slight dent, which was has been there for at least a couple of years, I think, just here in the front of the near side front wing, just there. Um, but otherwise it looks incredibly straight down the near side, as you can see. And so a nice matching set of Continental cross contacts on it. Under here. Show the chassis there. And then <clears throat> a post mirror arm on this side has lost some of its uh, coating, and as ever on these, both screen um, screen blocks have lost almost all of their paint and uh, bubbling around there. Same the other side. Now, in terms of the screen block, anyway, roof is nice. Near side door is all nice. Tiny mark just down there underneath the latch, underneath the handle. Interior wise, um, there are a few marks and stains on the seats. They always were there. They actually look worse on the video than they really are uh, for some reason. 
Um, I'm looking at it now and it doesn't look anywhere near as bad as it does on the video here. So, um, but you know, it's always been like that as long as we've known it. A couple of marks on the um, dashboard trim. Interior doesn't smell of anything nasty. Headlining's all good. Seats are in good shape in terms of their, uh, you know, their shape and not ripped or torn or anything. Obviously the cubby box is new. A little bit of wear on the seat box trim there. Near side rear door is all good. Um, never had a mat in the back. Well, certainly when we sold it last time, it didn't. Um, previous owners left it like that. That's the C post. Rear seats, and again, the, the video seems to pick it up more, like especially there. You can barely see it in real life, but there is, obviously the video does pick up a slight stain there. But, um, she is what she is, and has been a worker. Not for the last year though, it's just been a private uh, private vehicle. Here underneath the back there. Around the tail end. Let's open the door up and you can see the cross member better there. Remember, we talked about inside here, so we don't need to go too much more into that. Looking down the offside again, totally straight and tidy. A couple of small marks here just under the fuel filler. Um, oh, let's just go back around the other side because I'm fairly sure it was a bit of electrolytic reaction. Yes. A little bit of bubbling just coming up around the Alpine lights, just there. And the same the other side. Just there and there. Um, show you underneath here now. Tiny blemish on the offside rear door just there. And then in the back here. It's weird what, how the, the video picks up slightly lighter marks on the seats because they're just not really there in real life. Um, offside door has got a few marks on it, dotted around. And a very slight depression just there and there. Two very slight depressions just in the front of the driver's door. Um, modesty cover is a little bit scuffed as you might imagine. That's one of the reasons people fit checker plate. And then up here. Quick look under the front. Always a good place to look up there. Seats all good. Yeah, there we have it. Nice to see it back actually. Driver's mirror arm again has lost a little bit of its uh, coating. But there we go. My name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information. Right, quick video of start up and running on this uh, 110 2.2 TDCI. Um, sorry about the sun position, see if we can turn that round a bit. Oh, we can't. Anyway, lights come on. Let's check we're in neutral. <clears throat> Starts nicely and idles correctly. Here 
here to the engine bay 2.2 TDCI doing what it should it's just driven uh, 150 odd miles up to us this morning no uh, funny noises or not doing anything it shouldn't there we have it.